I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I love you and thank you. Money. I am sorry. I am sorry. Forgive me. Some of you that you are there, you are so angry within you because you've made bad decisions that costed you money. You've made so many, and you know that. Before money can come to you, you will need to heal. That's why Jesus said that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Some of you that you are there right now, you need to repeat this. I am sorry. Money, I am sorry. I am sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. I am sorry. Money, I am sorry for all bad decisions I've ever made. I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry, I am sorry for every misunderstanding. Some of you that you are there right now, you've been hearing some preachers preaching against money, you've become offended, you know, and what happened to God? That's the reason why. Look at Jesus. Jesus had no problem with money. When he wanted to pay his tax, he sent Peter, go to the, to, to the river, the first fish that comes, open up the mouth, you find one drachma, pay my tax and your tax. Money came to Jesus through a fish. Why? Because money loves him. Money loves Jesus. Money loves Jesus. It loves Jesus. It loves Jesus. So when Jesus wants money, money is not a problem. When money loves you, it will come from everywhere. It will come from anything. If anything that you do is going to succeed. So I told the money, I told the man, I said, listen to me, because we are due to meet in, uh, in, two, in three days with him. I said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to say this at least seven times a day and see what's going to happen. So, in three days' time, <laughs> before three days' time, the man phoned me, and he says, hey, Bishop Climate, he says, where are you? I say, I'm in town. I says, okay, I, I want to talk to you. I says, what has happened? He says, man of God, money has showed up. I says, what do you mean money has showed up? He says, he says, he says please, let me send some to you. Let me, I just want to send a gift to you. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And he says, man of God, it's not only me. I went and I told my wife and I told my son and we have all been saved, you know, because as a family, we made bad decisions, you know, and all that kind of thing. He says, money, I am sorry, forgive me, thank you, and I love you. Money, I am sorry, forgive me, thank you, and I love you. Money. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. Suddenly, money. He says, my wife, suddenly, she has a shop. The first day she did so, somebody came and put one big order. They have a hard, hardware shop. One big order. He says, his son, who is in the university and they were struggling even to get money to pay for his tuition. He says, suddenly, an application he had put through almost about five, six months ago, it came through with the full bursary. Why? Money. Show me your face. I love money. Money loves me. You know? You see, you need to stop getting ashamed about this. And what do you say? He says, I'm sorry, money, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for all bad decisions. I'm sorry for the bad attitude that I have towards you, money. Forgive me, forgive me. And thank you. And I love you. I love you, money. Money, I love you. Money, you love me. I am a money magnet. 
People ask me, man of God, what do you mean? Let me show you something very interesting. My dove in the cliffs of the rock, in the hiding place of the mountainside, show me your face. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. Look at verse 15 says, Catch for us the foxes, the little foxes that ruin the vineyard, our vineyard that are in bloom. In short, what is he saying here now? Verse 16 says, My lover is mine, and I'm his, and he browses among the lilies. 